What is good everybody? Welcome to that video in which I will give you my opinion about the upcoming champion vehicle the Rune King because his abilities got revealed by skin spotlights guys and from what I have seen already I can tell that this champion is broken. This champion is OP. This champion will be Yasu 2.0. This champion will be the most hated champion in League of Legends, but at the same time, he will be the most popular champion in League of Legends because a lot of people will play him and a lot of people will hate to play against that. So his ban rate will be like that. His ban rate will be, there will be no roof. Okay. And by the way, I made some predictions in, in the past, guys, where I predicted um, these things about other champions such as Volibear Rework, um, Lilia, and everything I said back then became true. So this will be not different. This will be the same, guys. Oh, oh, everything I say in this video will, I say 90% of it will be true, will become true, guys. And you will come back to tell me that I was true. With that being said, go ahead and tell me your opinion in the comment section about the upcoming champion. You can agree or disagree with me. I will go through the different abilities and you can agree on some of the abilities and disagree on some of uh, the other abilities, my opinion about the abilities. And yeah, with that being said, let's just start the video. So this is the passive guys, let me just read what's written over there. Passive Savoyness Domination. Viego can temporarily possesses, possesses enemy champions. He helps kill healing for a portion of their max health. During possession, Viego's items, attacks and non-ultimate abilities become those of his slain enemies and he gains a free cast of his own ultimate heartbreaker. So what they did there basically, they just gave this champion the Silas ultimate for all the other abilities. So that's basically what they did here, okay? Silas ultimate is like, he steals the ultimate of other champions, of other enemy champions. No, Virgo is like, hey, I can do that better, man, no problem. I will steal all your abilities, okay? I will steal everything you got, unless the old, because my old is cool, okay? My old is better, I don't need your, your old, I will just... Keep my old, but I will steal all the abilities. So after each kill, he will just go inside this enemy champion that he killed, that we could saw also in the, in the cinematic movie. He did the same over there. He just went into the bodies, right? He's doing the same uh, in, in the rift. So we will not only get these abilities from other champions. On top of that, this is like the OP shit right here that kicks in. While possessing an enemy, Viego also gets bonus movement speed when moving toward enemy champions. So this is like super broken right there, okay? He not only becomes the abilities of the killed champions, he also gains movement speed buffs so he can go ahead, cast these abilities and use his ultimate Heartbreaker. Because it says over there, he and he gains a free cast. That means free cast means he can just use it for free of his own ultimate heartbreaker. So <sighs> that shit is broken. That shit is broken. Tell me your opinion in the comment section about the passive, man. Uh, but in my eyes, that's broken. All right, let's move over to the Q um, ability. This is how it looks like. All right, so let's read what's written over there. We don't have to actually read that. By the text, you can say by the amount of words they used over there, you can tell already that thing is broken, okay? We, we until now, we just finished the passive, and you can tell from the passive that this champion is not near balance, okay? But now the Q kicks in, and you can tell by the text, without reading it, that shit is broken already, okay? Because it has a passive that is super long, like, like an essay. And then we have an active part. So two things, okay? Passive and active, and the passive is so long. Look at that. So let's read what's written over there. Viego's attack deal a percent of his target's current health as bonus damage on it. Okay. So that's basically the item Blade of the Rune King right there in his kit, right? So imagine Blade of the, <laughs> Blade of the Rune King as an item 
with this ability on top of that. So we will do a lot of on it damage effect. But when Diego attacks an enemy, he recently hit with an ability, the attacks strike twice. So that's like Master Yi -E in there. <laughs> okay, twice. So if he hits an ability on the target and then attacks it, this passive attacks the, at the target twice. He strikes twice. Okay, the second strike siphons health from the target instead of dealing regular damage but still applies on hit effects and can critically strike. So not only it does on hit damage and not only you can hit people with it twice, no, and not only you gain health from the target but on top of that on top of that, it can also critically strike. So what, what is that? There is so much. Just we, we just finished the Q right here, okay? We, have, we just discussed the passive and the Q ability we are discussing right now. And you can tell already this, this champion is overloaded. This champion has so much. They just threw everything in there. They just threw everything on this champion. And there he, there he is, okay? The blade, uh, the rune king, okay? Viego, the rune king, man. This passive is maintained during possession. This is just the passive. The passive sounds super broken, man. The active part is Viego steps forward with his blade, damaging all enemies' hit. So this is nothing special. This is okay. But the passive is really broken, man. So we have a lot of things just on the queue right now okay let's continue with the w the w is not really um the w is not an issue so, so everything is fine with the w that that looks like uh from captain falcon from smash bros yeah from, from smash bros you know the captain falcon when he charges up the the super punch this looks like that so it says Viego charges up and then dashes forward, hurling a blast of mist that stuns and damages the first enemy hit. Stun duration and mist range increase. I don't know what mist range is. Increase with charge time damage and dash range do not. I think mist range is uh, actually the mist from the E ability. So we will see that um, in a bit, guys. The mist range, okay? So even the mist range increases with, with W. This is actually broken, man. The, the ability itself is not broken. It is broken because it actually increases the mist range of his next ability, which is the E ability. And you will see in a second what this is, okay? And then I'm, I will just remind, remind you about that. So there's nothing um, really broken on this ability. It's just a normal gap closer. But all in all, this champion has a lot of um, tools to actually stick to you. Okay, he he gets the movement speed from the passive. He gets he gets that. Um, he gets the, the the gap closer over here with the stun on top of that. So um, so that that he's able to actually land a lot of auto attacks on you. Um, with the mist range that we that we will cover in a bit when we discuss the E ability. All right, guys, let's talk about the E ability. So the name of it is Harrod Path, and it says over here, Viego spreads a wave of black mist around a nearby wall. A nearby wall. While in the mist, Viego becomes camouflaged, uh, gains attack speed and a movement speed. So. This guy has so many things, so many things. Riot was like, okay, we're just gonna throw everything we got there in League of Legends, we're just gonna throw it in there on this champion, okay? He not only receives the movement speed buff from his passive, no. On top of that, um, he gets movement speed buff from uh, the E. And he, he not only gets a gap closer with a stun on top of it, now he gets also movement speed buff from his E. This is like, let me just show you the, the area, okay? The area is really big. This is what, what really fucks me up. Look at that. Like what? Look at that area. The area is so big. I mean, it's bigger like the Trundle E. It's, it's bigger than Trundle's uh, area, right? Because um, this is similar to, to Trundle's um, E ability where he receives movement speed buff and attack speed within an area this is like the same but riot was like hey we're gonna spice it up a little bit and give him camouflage on top of that and there we go this is so broken this is so stupid this is 
I don't know what Riot is smoking, man. I don't know what it, what these people are smoking on on the on the death corner on on the balance team, because Riot said we got we got people in the balance team that achieved that reached Diamond One, Master Elo, and and so on. I mean, these people, if they see that, why is no one of them saying, "Hey, wait a bit, hold on a second, it's a little bit too OP." No question mark. Is it not too OP? Why is no one of these people saying anything about that? They basically threw everything on this guy. I mean, the passive, the passive alone would be fine, okay? Just give him this passive and go normal with the other abilities, okay? Give him some normal abilities and that's it. Standard, okay? A, this passive plus standard ability kit. It's, it would be fine. But now Riot is, go, is going like, now we get, we're going to get this uh, champion to the next level and overload him this is like super overloaded this champion fancy as fuck for no reason okay but wukong cannot dash it over walls i guess wukong cannot do that this guy can do everything but wukong cannot dash over walls guys not nah, mm -mm. not gonna give that to him even though he's an ape no so stupid all right let's finish it up with the r guys the name of it will be heartbreaker and it says over here viego discards any buddies he is buddies more than one he is currently possessing and teleports forward attacking the enemy champion in range with the lowest percent health and dealing bonus damage based on their missing health other enemies in range are knocked away so that means um, basically Pike old right there. Oh God, attacking the enemy champion in range with the lowest percent health. So, so the body, Viego discards any bodies he is currently possessing and teleports forward. So while you are in the body, while you are in inside an enemy body, you can press R and you will jump to the next target that is lo the lowest and you will do damage based on their missing health other enemies in range are knocked away this is like knocked away holy shit Yasuo will kick in in this dude Yasuo and um, Viego super combo right there okay so we, he will also have a knock up, I mean, a knock away ability, you can tell, okay? So that, that's basically Pike ult right there. So let me, let me just sum this up. So this champion, the upcoming champion, will have the Kane ult, the ult of Kane, where he can go inside bodies. He will have it as a passive. He will have the Silas ult, um, for the non old abilities, so he will steal the abilities of others. He will also receive a ton of attack speed. He will he will do on hit damage effects. He will crit. He will knock away people. He will do damage based on missing health. Will have camouflage. He will get movement speed buff. So do you see what I'm trying to say here? This this champion receives so much um, tools, abilities to work with. To a point where I say it's, it's simply too much. It is too much, guys. So this looks like this. So you can use it without without possessing a body so right here look at that wait a sec so right here he is using heartbreaker without possessing a body so he killed senna goes inside senna then so viego don't have to actually possess a body he can do it without possessing a body he can use r to kill someone and then possess the body and then he can just R out of it, okay? And I think it works like that. I'm not really sure. So here, here, here he is using it without possessing a body, clearly. 
Like, let's go back. See? Without possessing a body, he can use that. That, that That's pack gold right there. Oh. Yeah. And then we got this splash out over here. A good looking male. I don't I don't get why every champion that Riot released lately has to look like uh, a superstar, a pop star like this guy. Look at that. <laughs> this guy looks like I don't know. He he's not looking like a rude king. He's looking like someone who's coming coming from the stage like a pop star or something who's about to sing, who's about to rock the crowd, you know? This is how he looks like. Looks really good. <laughs> I have to say. I don't know why they do that because to sell this champion to sell skins maybe but that's a good looking man right there man i gotta say um he, he's not looking like a rune king definitely not so um all in all guys let me just sum this up again okay let me predict the future a little bit okay for you guys this bad boy will hit the rift and a lot of people are gonna complain a lot of people will hate him like they hate yasuo will be yasuo 2.0 and after a long time what right will do after so many people cried about this champion to nerf him right will come up with a little nerf maybe to nerf his dash range on his w but everything else will stay like it is this is what will happen in the future okay i told you already you will come back and and just say that I was true. Okay, this what this is what will happen. Okay, guys, this is my prediction for the future. Um, curious about what you say in the comment section, guys. With that being said, I'm gonna end the video right here. Leave a like if you agree. Leave a, a dislike if you don't agree. Feel free. Have a wonderful day, guys. Peace.